Hey guys, it's Amanda Panda, and today is Fan yeah. Custom yeah. Friday, yeah. where I pick one of my fans' custom OC ponies, and I make it in real life on my channel. And this month's winner is Juicy Grapes. Juicy Grapes was submitted to me by K Anna Forever Two Two Three. Juicy Grapes works at her dad's vineyard. Her dad makes wine, and she makes grape juice. Her grape juice is absolutely delicious, the best in all of Equestria. One day, her best friend got very sick. Nobody knew how to make her better, so Juicy gathered up the juiciest grapes in the entire vineyard and rushed to her best friend's house. When Juicy arrived at the house, she whipped up the most delicious grape juice and her friend drank the juice and got better. Juicy's friend thanked her and gave her a huge hug. So let's get started making Juicy Grapes. I'm using Nurse Redheart as the base for Juicy. I love that she has her little leg propped up just like the drawing of Juicy. I'm going to start off by removing her head. I like to grab it firmly and twist it to the side until it just pops out of the neck plug just like that. Now I'm going to remove all of her hair and hopefully that ribbon doesn't give me too much problems when I try to pull it out. I'm going to cut off as much of her hair as I possibly can and then trim it even shorter all the way down to the scalp and cutting the hair makes it so much easier to pull out the hair roots in a second so now that all the hair is cut off I'm gonna need to remove the neck plug to pull out the hair roots so I'm gonna grab my exacto knife and make a series of teeny tiny cuts all the way around the neck plug and I'm gonna do this very carefully so I don't cut myself and then use my pliers to pull that neck plug out and that exposes all of the roots that are secured firmly in there with a bunch of glue so I'm gonna tug all of this hair and glue out and I'm trying to get that really big piece of ribbon out first here it comes so there's the piece of ribbon got that out first it's a huge little plastic piece and I'm just going to keep doing this until the head is completely bald. All the hair's out. She'll be getting new hair later on. I'm going to take a little bit of acetone on a Q-tip. And I am going to trim the eyes down a little bit to give them more of an almond shape. And I'm doing this because it helps me with the general placement and size of the eyes when I have to go in and paint them later on. So the head's all ready to be customized. It is time to prep the body. I'm taking some acetone and removing any marks that are on the body so the little QC mark down at the bottom and the cutie mark and I'm gonna reroute this tail using a different method than I normally do I am cutting off the tail and then pushing the rest of it inside the body there's lots of room in there so it easily can be pushed right in for Juicy's body, I selected this gorgeous shade of nail polish. It is a greeny, minty color, and it is iridescent, so there's some shimmer to it. I just thought it was the perfect color for Juicy. It's going to be so, so pretty. So I am just going to put this down as the base color, completely covering her head. I am going to just outline the eyes and save those. And this color is absolutely Absolutely gorgeous I don't know if you can tell on camera but that iridescent shimmer that it has to it is just so so pretty I'm really excited for this custom because it's gonna be the first time that I give a pony curly hair I've used curly hair in the past but I've never actually curled it myself so we'll see how it turns out the base color is all dried it's time to start working on Juicy's eyes I've switched over to acrylic paint and I am just going in with white and I am defining the eye shape and I'm going to use three coats of paint there. And Juicy has a really pretty purple eyes, so I'm using a dark purple and drawing in circles right in the middle of the white area. 
Now I'm going to very carefully put in Juicy's top eyelash because I want to get a really good sense of the eye shape before I put in the pupils because I want to make sure that I place them correctly. So the black pupil is going to go right in the center here and then she's going to get two light reflections in each eye, one in the top corner and one in the bottom corner. Off camera, I'm going to draw in her bottom eyelashes and I had to do it off camera because the eyelashes are very thin and I kind of got to get it really close to my face to make sure that I put them in the right spot. Now I'm going in with my dotting tool and some purple acrylic paint and I am just dotting on that bunch of grapes that Juicy has right on her ear. And I used two shades of purple, so I put down a light purple, and then I went over the light purple with a dark purple to really make that bunch of grapes pop. I went in with some green and drew in the leaf. Now I'm taking a darker green and giving the leaf some veins. And then I'll switch over to brown and draw a little curly vine that goes from the grape bunch to the back of her ear. Juicy's head is all painted. I'm going to go over it with a layer of clear top coat to seal all of my work in. And if you don't like the shiny effect of nail polish, you could always use a matte top coat. Once it has completely dried, it is time for Juicy to get her new hair. I selected two colors, this gorgeous purple called Amethyst and this really pretty shade of blue called Forget Me Not from dollyhair.com. I thought it was a perfect match to Juicy's drawing. I usually use hair that's one quarter the original length, but this hair is one third of the original length. It's a little bit longer since I'm going to be curling it, I'm using my rerouting tool from dollyhair.com, which is a pronged needle, and I'm very carefully catching that plug of hair right in the center. And it is very sharp, so you just pick which hole you want to put that hair plug into and press it right in. And just like that, you have your first hair plug in. To give it the effect of the two colors, I am doing three plugs plugs of blue and then three plugs of purple to make really pretty stripes in her hair. Once you have all the hair plugs in, you will need to secure them. I personally like to use no sew glue. I pour it directly into the pony's head and then use a Q-tip to evenly distribute that glue among all of the hair plugs. I'm gonna let that completely dry overnight and once it's dried, we can curl the hair. To curl the pony's hair, you're gonna need some bobby pins and drinking straws. I'm cutting the straw into four smaller pieces and they are going to be used as little curling rods. Grab a section of hair that you want to curl. I think that this is the best size for my custom. I'm using just a little piece of tape at the ends here and that's going to help the hair adhere to the little piece of straw. So here's a little piece of straw. I'm going to tap that piece of tape onto it and then start rolling the hair onto itself just like if I were curling my hair in real life. Now there are several different ways to curl a pony's hair but this is just one method I have been wanting to try so hopefully it comes out super nice. Now I'm going to take a bobby pin and I am going to make sure that I position this little curling rod in the right place so I want the hair to go back 
and to the side. So I'm taking that bobby pin and you actually want to get the flat part of the bobby pin to the outside and that's going to completely secure that hair onto the straw. And you're going to repeat that over and over again until all of the hair is in little rollers. Once you have all the curlers in, it should look a little bit like this and she looks so adorable. It looks like when my grandma's curling her hair at home and you can see that I have put bobby pins to connect two straws together to make sure that all of my curls remain in line. Now the next part is slightly dangerous maybe it involves using hot water now this water's not boiling but it's hot enough to burn yourself if you touched it i put it in the microwave for two minutes that's how hot it is and i am going to be very carefully dipping the head into this extremely hot water and that hot water is going to cause the plastic hair to curl and take on the shape of the straw. Now I'm gonna let the hair dry for a little bit and then pull all of the pins out and remove the straw and we should be left with a really pretty curl in the hair. Wow, I used a lot of bobby pins. Let me see if I can get this yellow straw free. There's just one more down here at the bottom. And let's see, how did this curl come out? When you curl the pony's hair, it does get shorter. That's why you have to make sure you use longer hair than normal. And oh my gosh, that curl came out gorgeous. I'm going to take out the rest of the little curlers and start working on the body. I'm using that same beautiful green color that I used on the head. And I'm going to completely cover the body with one coat. And this color is just so gorgeous. I'm going to completely cover this up. Oh, and that looks so pretty. Now it's time to start working on her cutie mark. Her cutie mark is a bunch of grapes with a leaf on top, kind of like what she has on her ear. So I'm taking my dotting tool and I am going to dot out a whole bunch of little circles into the general shape of a bunch of grapes. And then using the same brown I used on the ear, I'm just going to draw out the little curly stem at the top. Since I still have that purple on my dotting tool, I'm going to go ahead and dot on the little bunch of grapes she has on her ankle. Switching back over to the green acrylic paint, I'm going to draw on the little leaf right on top of my bunch of grapes. And it's easier to draw the leaf on top of the grapes than to try and draw the grapes around the leaf, if that makes any sense to you. Now I'm going to go in with that dark green and give the leaves some veins and then draw the little leaves that are down at the ankle near that small bunch of grapes. And that's the final detail on the body. Now I'm going to completely cover it with a layer of clear nail polish to seal all of my work in. And once the nail polish has completely dried, it is time for Juicy to get her new tail. I have some of the blue and the purple hair here, and I have a very tightly, tightly twisted it together using a twist tie and I'm going to be using white Gorilla Glue 
pouring some directly inside the tail and on the twist tie and then I'm going to push that into the tail hole using the end of a paint brush. I'm using this method today because I wanted to show you guys a different and maybe easier way for you to reroute a tail because I get a lot of messages saying that you're having trouble removing the neck plug from the body. So I just wanted to give you a different manner of doing this. I'm going to curl it glue the head on the body let's take a look at the completed custom here is juicy grapes and her hair is so fabulous i can't get over how awesome it came out using that method with the straws it is so pretty her tail looks so cute curled i love it i love it the way she came out i love the color combination this custom is beautiful let's compare the drawing with the real life pony and i think that they look a lot alike k anna forever 223 i hope that you love this custom as much as i do and if you've entered fan custom friday but your pony didn't get picked this month don't worry there's always next month and i do try to do two fan custom fridays a month whenever i have time and if you would like to enter your pony into the giveaway stay tuned for the details thank you so much for watching little pandas until next time bye want to see your oc pony made in real life it could happen submit a drawing of your oc pony along with a short story about him or her directly to me and be sure to include your oc's name once a month i will randomly choose a pony to create in real life on my channel anyone can enter no matter where you live and it is completely free there is no charge to submit your pony and there is no charge to make it if you win I'll even mail you the finished pony as long as you have a valid mailing address. I ship worldwide and of course shipping is free. Here are the Fan Custom Friday rules. 1. You must be a subscriber to this channel, so submit your YouTube name along with your OC so I can verify. And if you are underage or your parents do not let you have a YouTube channel, no problem. Just let me know when you submit your pony. And two, if you are under 18, please ask your parents' permission before entering the there giveaway. There are three different ways to submit your OC Pony. You can either message me on Facebook or comment on my Facebook page, facebook.com backslash mandapandatoycollector. You can message me on Instagram at mandapandatoycollector or you can mail me your drawing and your story to mandapanda P.O. Box 2855 Humble, Texas 77347. Just a reminder, Fan Custom Friday is intended to encourage your imagination and creativity. So please avoid plagiarizing other people's works from websites such as DeviantArt and Google.